everyone, Hans here. Holidays are over, August is gone, September has started. That means it's time for new videos, new tutorials. I'm very happy to be back, very happy to show you some new cool stuff that I've been thinking about. Um, the other day I posted about signals, signals and triggers and that type of thing. They're really hot right now. Um, and I noticed that a lot of people um, seem to not know how to set up these signals, even though they're pretty easy, straightforward to set up. So today is a episode or a video about signals. Um, and we're going to be using Google News, RSS feeds, and obviously Clay to set up signal campaigns. As always, I'm very excited to show you. Let's dive in. Here we are. So this is Google News. Um, so news.google.com, they monitor the web for you. So they aggregate the news from different sources and uh, we can do keyword search searches there. So in this case, we had a client, they wanted to monitor for new brand partnerships or store expansion, um, new brand campaigns, um, types of launches, maybe new TV ad launches. Uh, and you know, these are the same. So store expansion, just different types of keywords. Uh, or product launches, that type of thing. Um, so they wanted to monitor for brands or companies that were doing just that. And as you can see, you can use, um, you know, the, like the same way you use the LinkedIn, you know, your, you know, you can, you can, um, uh, add your searches in, in here in the search bar. So it will search for all of these keywords right here. And this is the news that, um, that we get. So Whole Foods, they open a new store. Goodwill opens a new store. They open a new store. Um, let's see. And Canva launches a new brand campaign. Hallmark and NFL, they have a new brand partnership. And for this company, for this client, that was something that they wanted to monitor because that meant um you know it was a trigger for them that they could say hey notice that you're launching a new product or you have a new brand partnership uh how do you measure the success of all of that basically so we want to monitor all of this automatically and find out which companies are involved and then reach out to those companies that's the basic idea there's a lot of ways to do that we're going to use the the simplest, most easy way, um, as far as I'm aware, uh, and just turn this into an RSS feed. Uh, there are a lot of tools for that. Um, I'm using a tool called rss.app. It allows you to, you to um, turn anything into an RSS feed. So you basically say, okay, you know what, this URL right here, as you can see, that's the input, um, you know, turn that into an RSS feed. And then here we have a JSON RSS feed. So that's great. That means that, you know, all that news that we saw right here with a little bit of a delay, you can see they're a little bit behind, but that's fine. They turn that into an RSS feed. Then what we're going to do, just because Clay doesn't allow for, um, uh, let's say daily, like they don't allow you to rerun a table at certain times. So we're also going to involve make. So we have Google news here. We turn that into an RSS feed and then here in make, or uh, you can use, uh, or yeah, make, um, I was going to call it Integromat, but, um, yeah, not anymore. You can also use Zapier for this or, you know, other platforms. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to tell it this RSS feed every, I think you have a set every day, yeah, every day or every X hours put in all the news um, and send that to Clay. So here we have, you know, we're, uh, we have a Clay table right here, and then we have a webhook as the, um, the source. So the main source is a webhook. So this is the webhook that, that it gave us right here. We're going to use the method post, body type raw, content type JSON, um, and then, you know, this is the body basically saying uh, this, you can call anything. We just call it link. You can call this URL. You can call this uh, X, Y, Z, whatever you want, uh, basically link. And then we're going to send through the, um, um, the um, URL to the news. So what that looks like right here. So this is the link. So this is the actual news URL. So on, you know, uh, sportsmedia.com, they talk about Cassie Grant launching a new brand campaign, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. So that's, um, that's what we're sending through this link right here. That's basically all that we need. 
Um, so those are all the steps. Just to run you through it one more time, we have Google News. We monitor Google News um, for keywords that are relevant for us. Google News monitors the entire web for us for that. Then we tell Make to every single day, take that news and send it to Clay. And then um, here within Clay, we get all the links and we can continue with our next step. So next step is using ClayGen. So we have ClayGen right here. We're using the Neon model, big fan. And basically saying from the article derived, which company, companies or brands are the topic of this article. I'll put their name or names and nothing else. If multiple company names are the main topic of this article, I'll put them in a comma separated list. Here's the article and then we just repeat it. So it gives us the company. So here Atkins launches products. Great. You know, the company being mentioned Atkins. Um, then here real link announces, I'm not sure what they announced, but real link is being mentioned, et cetera, et cetera. So that's that. Then we have the companies that are being mentioned in that article. Um, and the reason we're doing it this way is sometimes the article links to, you know, these companies. Sometimes they don't. We, you know, we're going to use Clay to then turn that, that company, those companies um, into a full and risk profile. So we have first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Uh, in some cases, we have multiple companies. Um, because sometimes there's a roundup, like there's the, um, store expansion roundup, for example, they mentioned like 10 different companies. So that is, um, that's the case here. And then basically all that we're going to do, we're going to say this company. So Atkins is one example that we used, uh, find domain from company. It will find this little domain from Atkins. You can again use, you know, clay gem for that you can use different methods i just went the lazy route and use find domain from company name uh, because usually also these are pretty big companies that are being mentioned so match rate should be good um and the error rate should be really close to zero which is also pretty important um so then here we get their um the domains and the same you know for up to 10 companies so we get all these companies that either expanded their stores or launched a new brand campaign um, or did these things that are important to us. Um, and now we have them right here in clay. The next step is pretty obvious. We want to find people at those companies. Um, so, uh, first of all, you know, I categorize the article, so it could be brand partnership, new product, new store, new brand campaign. We have these keywords right here and I want to know, okay. Um, you know, to which keyword does it belong? You can also say. I'm just going to set up a, a new clay table or a new RSS feed for each keyword. Um, and you can split it out that way. Um, you know, that there's, there's a few ways you can do it. You can go about it. You can say, okay, new RSS feed, but they all go into the same clay table. But if source equals RSS feed one, then assign, you know, brand partnership, whatever. Um, I just use GPT for it and it's, you know, accurate enough. So that we can say, okay, um, you know, the trigger is store expansion or the trigger is brand partnership, etc. cetera. Um, not the cleanest way of doing it, uh, but it's the fastest way of doing it, which is also sometimes important. Um, so we have those companies and then we obviously want to enrich them, um, to qualify them because some are not a good fit. So we have the domain. We use that domain to enrich them, get their full profile, you know, from LinkedIn and all that. And then we can say, uh, because in this case, the client only wants to reach out to companies with up to headcount of 5,000, for example. So first we find their domain, then we enrich them, then we qualify them and we can set up conditional rules right here saying, um, you know, find contacts at company. If, uh, let's see. So if the employee headcount is below 5,000 and the location is any of these countries, then find, you know, uh, find the decision maker, those companies. So we enrich the companies, we have a look, okay. Um, do they match their qualification criteria? If they did, then find their head of marketing, VP of marketing, et cetera, et cetera. And then if we find someone there, find their work email, um, and then to, um, and the same for the second, third, fourth, fifth company, et cetera. If you want to increase your match rate, you can also say, if we don't find the email for the first person, try finding it for the second, third, fourth, then it will become a pretty big table, but your match rate would increase and which is obviously good for your campaigns. 
However, usually when you don't find the email for the first person at the company, uh, the second, third, fourth, you know, your match rate is, is pretty low, usually speaking. So um, it's, you know, it's, it will give you more emails, more leads, et cetera, but it's, um, um, it's, it's a small, you know, it's a small increase. Uh, then again, it's probably worth it. I didn't do it in this case, but for all the other companies, we did the same thing. So, you know, for company one, if they qualify these, the client, their criteria, then find their VP of marketing for company two, three, four, five, up to 10, um, the same thing. And that's it. That's everything that we did in this table. So that's how you use Google news, um, in combination with make, and in this case, RSS dot app to set up your own uh, signal monitoring for keywords in this case for brand partnership store expansion uh, you can monitor for funding news you can monitor for key hires there's a lot of things you can monitor for you can monitor for security breaches um, you know sky's the limit your imagination is, uh, is is your only limitation i guess um, so that's how you set that up if you want a bit more info on that, let me know. Um, if you found it helpful, please let me know as well. And if you have anything else that you want to request as a next tutorial, let me know as well. For now, thanks for watching as always, and hopefully see you soon. Bye-bye.